All right. So here is the framework. Here's the overall DevOps architecture that we've developed uh, here at Clear Vision. And again, we did not invent this. Uh, we, we put this together, but it, it's harvesting all of the good practices from uh, so many years out in the industry and consolidated down to an easy to understand architecture for a DevOps environment. This is the process that you want to get in place during iteration zero. And uh, by the way, uh, this is a lot of information on this poster. There's no way we're going to get through every detail in this webinar, but that was just the top third of the poster. Here's the full poster. If you would like a high resolution, uh, high resolution PDF of this poster, then just uh, uh, put an email in the chat or look for the link there. And if you kind of miss it, just send me an email again. We'd be happy to equip you um, with a high resolution version of this poster. It's really meant to be printed at a print shop on two foot by three foot poster board paper or maybe um, uh, styrofoam uh, poster board. Um, and so you can you can do that. But we're going to focus on some of the steps in the top one third from builds to multiple layers of automated testing to packaging release candidates uh, to basic static code analysis um, and then packaging and getting ready for deployments. Now we do have planned an upcoming webinar that we're going to be doing a sneak peek with, um, we're going to be doing a webinar with um, some experts from Octopus Deploy going deep into some of the details of the actual deployments, but we're going to talk about the process right now. So um, we're going to be focusing on how to think about this and an understanding of all of the elements that you need to have in place during iteration zero to create an automated DevOps environment for your new piece of software. 